Yeah, yeah, I know what you're thinking. You can get a job in the Middle East simply by trying or by magic through others or by a fluke. Remember that competition is everywhere. Some here, some there, but bam, Loy Macedo is the best. All right, in this video, I'm going to share with you, uh, it's, I don't know how to put it. Um, there is this female who's famous in India, whose name is Ur Urfi Javed or something like that. Uh, I'll talk a little bit about her, some, the Instagram content, which really has become very disturbing. And uh, even the Facebook reels with the new policy updates. I mean, they are sharing, adult content, hardcore adult content, irrespective of what your age is. So I'll give my thoughts about this and feel free to comment down below and tell me if I'm wrong anywhere. Now, for those of you who are new to my channel, uh, I'm a personal branding strategist. I know, look half naked, <laughs> which people say, uh, well, it's hot and sunny. I'm walking outside so my videos outside I normally walk like this and uh, I specialize in helping people get jobs in the Middle East Dubai specifically uh, and uh, yes people contact me for one-to-one -one consultation I know you look like hey what the hell man this guy half naked what the hell he'll advise well that's why my YouTube channel is there around uh, 6,000 I don't know, 700 videos. So you can check them and see, am I good enough to give advice or guide anyone? Anyway, been there doing this for 25 years. All right, so it's a hot sunny day in Samui, Thailand. <sighs> Vitamin D. Okay, so now I'm, you know, I was talking to you about this character, Urfi, Urfi Javed Ur whatever name is, she has a very strange name. But what is more stranger about this female is, I, uh, like she'll wear these outfits in India, okay? Now, you know, when you say India, uh, you see rickshaws passing by, you see uh, poor people, you see, you know, you, and don't get me wrong, I'm not saying India is poor. But wherever she's standing, like for example, she gets out of a car. She gets out of a car and she's wearing this outfit that you normally see American celebrities wear at a red carpet. Okay? Uh, like, and almost all her outfits, all her outfits are not normal. Like they'll, like one of her outfits is, like it's half, her breast is open. But there's a sticker here. She's just covering her nipple. Another one is like she'll wear a, I don't know, what do you call that? Just a cloth where both her nipples are covered. Basically, like she'll show her breasts, but her nipples will be covered. Or it will show that she's not wearing an underwear as there's a cutout here. But there is a, a piece of cloth that is covering her opening, her vagina. Okay. So... You get, uh, you, you, you get what I'm trying to say. Like, she loves to show her body as much as possible. She maintains it, she's not super slim. Uh, but she makes it a point to wear these super weird outfits. In fact, one of the latest videos that was shared in my WhatsApp group was, uh, she's wearing this, I don't know, um, kind of a shield, which, shows the shape of breasts with nipples but it's not like she's not naked she's wearing a breastplate she's wearing like you know breastplate with nipples like it's painted in such a way it looks like she's naked now uh, you know kudos to her she somehow has found a market in india or a 
fan base that absolutely admires her that follow her that check her uh, outfits and when you see these videos you will see madam 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 please please stand here let me take a photo madam please and like she is treated like a superstar i did a google search as to find out like which movie has she acted or is she famous for some award like is she a a lister i'm i'm not trying to you know just piss all over her fame she's more famous than me and whatever um but i couldn't understand why she famous there was even a interview that she had with one youtuber hindi youtuber i didn't see she wants to earn a billion dollars and uh, that is her goal okay fine you want to be rich and but my question to you is number one is is she famous only for showing her like semi almost naked body is she famous for that or is she famous for something else that's question number 1 and the second question that really comes to my mind is is this all it takes for a female in india to be famous just show a little bit of your or a lot of your breasts and your ass and you know like they say no indian men when they see bobs and vagin finish they go crazy like there's so much of craze about her. how much of someone's boobs or someone's vagina or someone's ass how much do you need to see to stop being crazy or is it like every day she wears a new outfit oh wow oh, wow and uh, i get these young men in my group sometimes sharing this video wow look at her check her out and i can't understand i like i'm the only reason i'm talk, even talking about her is because people are forwarding these videos and they're showing and oh ha ha wow again what is happening here <laughs> I, i i don't know maybe she is beautiful or maybe she is hot for some people she is attractive i'm i'm not saying that she's ugly but she's not like my kind of a female that i would wow you know drool all over her and even if a female's beautiful you appreciate beauty but then this way of showing your breasts and your vagina and your ass and you know when you keep showing it you lose class just i don't know man and uh, you know i was talking about instagram and facebook feed see imagine this my i have facebook my wife has facebook my daughter doesn't have any social media account but she likes to browse through uh you know the feed now thankfully the feed that she is going through is the youtube for kids okay but nowadays you have tiktok videos that get uploaded in youtube feed and and i don't know somehow my daughter seems to bump into this content which is not appropriate for her age like that tiktok uh, lady gaga dance 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 it's okay but some of the videos are like they show that it is appropriate for her age but then there are scenes which like you know the female is showing her cleavage almost so my wife is there to supervise because she'll only see it and my wife but you know you can't be 24/7 now what is my concern here like i'll i'll give an example this new trend is there are two three trends one of them is a female is standing here like she's wearing a dress and she'll ask you a question like it's a very short video like i want to ask you and she'll show her hands down in between her legs like and she'll say 4 3 2 1 and when she removes her hand it's a see through dress and you can clearly see the silhouette of her legs and her vagina her private parts okay you can clearly see it is 
In fact, there was one girl who was a gymnast. Like, at first I thought, oh, okay, what talent, young girl. And then she shows on video where she's wearing shorts and she lifts her leg. And I'll tell you, there is that split second where you can literally, you know, the shorts is loose. So, and it's really short. So you can see, like if you stop the frame, you can see that she is trying to show you her vagina. She's stretching her leg like this. And then another disgusting, ah, this one I cannot stand. Women who have children, small children, they are opening their breasts and they are showing. And uh, like the camera is focused on such a way, showing the breast and the nipple. And then you are getting this lady making this baby search for the breast to suckle on the you know breast or to drink milk and then you see females some of their breasts are like hanging till they're like they'll just put it like this and in a supermarket and and the title is like mother's love and all that but what mother's love <laughs> you're showing your breasts you're showing your body on social media in front of strangers along with your baby for that 30 seconds for what? What does it mean? What is the message you're trying to give? Mother's love? <laughs> what mother's love? You're showing your breast? I, I don't understand man. <laughs> it is, uh, it's, it's become a soft porn kind of an industry where every female is busy showing her breasts. And you know, there is this new song which is viral. Ooh, wee, wee. They will do like this, something. And they'll go, ooh, wee, like that they'll do. And even in that dance, they are either wearing that see-through dress where your eyes automatically focus down because she's putting three, two, one near her vagina. Or it's a see-through dress where you can see her nipples. You know, you see one female, two female, three female, you think, okay. But if you, as you keep scrolling, there are so many of these content creators. Now, I don't have a problem with these females who are adults who are showing their private parts. But the problem is, how does it impact the minds of young boys and girls? Just imagine, what impact does it have? For a girl, I have a daughter. If my daughter were to constantly see this boobs and nipples and vagina and, and seeing women, you know, parade themselves uh, and get so many likes and shares. If tomorrow she wanted to be popular on YouTube, she would just feel that this is normal behavior. And I'm telling you, there are underage young girls who are posting videos like this. One very controversial one was this female looks young, can't make out her age. I'm, I'm telling you, this is real. She just, like she's wearing baby outfit, you know, to exaggerate the fact that she's a baby. And, she's a, and you know, she's looking at the camera and she'll just lift her top show her breasts, minus the nipples, and just put it down, and just do like this. I don't know, that one had a half a million uh, likes or something. So just imagine uh, why these young children are doing this. There's one small uh, girl, I think, not sure, she was Filipina, and she was wearing this short skirt, and then wiggling her ass, and you can clearly see that uh, her dress is lifting up. And you can see her butt cheeks. You know, just think. Okay, if you're single and you wouldn't give a fuck, you'll be like, man, just enjoy. But, you know, the day you have children or you're responsible for a young girl, you will flip uh, your argument. And then if you have a boy, what message is the boy getting? Seeing the girl's breasts, seeing the girl's vagina, seeing them 
showing themselves sex, you know, sexually. A boy whose testosterone is going and uh, he's confused about sex and pleasure and relationships. He will view every girl, every woman like that, no? And then overall, what it happened? What happens to both men and women? You know, you become desensitized to sex and pleasure, and it all becomes a transaction where there is, you know, like this. You know, women are equal. Feminists are fighting. Women are equal, and we demand equal rights. And if you ask, some women will say, "Okay, so you can." Fuck around and have one night stands. I'll also do the same. Trust me, boys will not be complaining about it. And at the end of the day, what I've always said is a girl who gets pregnant, man, not the guy. I see so many young boys and girls here in Thailand who have their phone. Mother, father is working. They don't have time to supervise what these children are watching. But just imagine if you constantly watch. This kind of material, you know, when I was scrolling, how many videos here? And it's like the algorithm is, if you stand and stop, like if you stop at one girl showing her vagina, boobs, and all that, then only that content keeps repeating until you, like, maybe, I don't know, don't stop at it and look at something educational. I'll tell you, this is a matter of concern. This free the nipple movement and equal rights and all that. On that pretext, this whole world is now moving towards a soft porn kind of lifestyle, where only fans has become a respectable career because you earn money. Sex has become, uh, you know, so transactional. You can literally talk. Yeah, I fucked him. Hey, do you want to fuck me? Yeah, hey, hey, hey. I have girls who have actually young girls who seriously been chatting, and I verify their profile, and then straight away, would you fuck me if I was with you? <laughs> yeah, it is kinky. Yeah, it is. Wow. But those days for me are gone. I, when I talk to anyone, I talk from a leadership leadership position where work is related. Just imagine if I was in my younger days, and girls would talk like this. I would, of course, say yes. No, it's not good. Yeah, it's not good. What is happening? It's seriously. I'm telling you, it's seriously better if your children are not there on social media, Facebook, Instagram. I'm seriously saying, if you're a youngster, please. Instead of spending hours and hours wasting your life and time on this kind of crap, do so, play a video game. Or if you really want something healthy, at least go out and interact with people in the real world. <laughs> We want equal rights. We are feminists. We are equal to men. And this is what you put: free the nipple and free the this and free the. One day will be free the vagina. One day will be free. The body, no clothes. One day will be free love, love anyone, everyone, freedom. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments below. You agree, disagree? I seriously would like to know your point of view and that Urfi female. Seriously, what is she famous for? I, I don't understand the fascination. Anyway, you guys take care. Stay safe now. Ciao.